I thank that lady for her speech. Let's continue the debate. I call on the third speaker in opposition to give his speech.
There are individuals who have the right to legitimately access dangerous lifestyles in pursuit, pursuit of their careers. Ballet dancers need to be extremely thin in order to be a ballet dancer. We don't say that ballet dancers are not allowed to be able to change their body image just because we think that's bad. Even though it's endangering their own individual health, we still say that it may be rational for these individuals to make a decision to change the way that their body is in a negative way. Now while the, the, the opposition may say, well, that's a little bit odd, what about all the children? Well, we would say for the children, the case is as follows. Firstly, we don't think it's the state to re job to regulate for children when it reduces the harms of other, when it increases harms for other people. We think that's the job of parents. And we think that there are ways that parents can limit children's access to these particular material if they deem so fit. If parents really want to stop their children from doing so, they can remove their computer, they can put blocks on these type of websites. That is the job of the parent. Why is it that the state needs to get involved when the parent is able to do it in this particular situation? But secondly, we say what's particularly dangerous for it for children is the labeling effect that this produces. They've agreed that in some circumstances, these individuals are particularly alienated from society. They are really seen in their own self-image as people who are being oppressed, as everyone's fighting against me, as the world is turning against me as an individual. By banning, by banning this particular aspect, we are putting a criminal sign on the top of their heads. Yes. How can you possibly say anorexic is concerned to be rational? It's medically defined as irrational. <coughs> and sorry, sorry. I'm not saying, we're not saying on the side of the house that the disease of anorexia is rational. We're saying that individuals who want those particular aspects, who are looking for a particular way to get thin, and in your model, all that it is, is a way to get thin in concert with a picture of a couple of thin women, and then, the, and then that website gets banned. For those individuals, it is rational to pursue that particular idea of their self-image. So ladies and gentlemen, then what we say is that in this particular social, uh, in, in institution, the, huge, the biggest problem in their case is that they have been arguing constantly that this is a socially induced problem. That this is a problem which is based on societal norms, it's a problem that is based on the image of women who are still going to exist in society even when their policy is banned, it is implemented. There's still going to be Kate Moss. She's still going to be shown throwing up the key magazine to get herself fit. There's still going to be this image that is promoted. But all they're doing is they're removing an avenue by which certain individuals are able to get help and able to talk to other individuals in that society, and an avenue where we don't think the state has a legitimate role of action. We beg to oppose.